Yep, a couple days old and it's already turned into the humping Olympics. Boys, boys, boys. Gonna be stallions, baby. Good morning, poppies. <laughs> run, run, run. Not many of you are gonna remember. Well, I think most of you will remember. When we got Frosty Mom, she was super, super sketch. Like she wouldn't come near me. She didn't want petted. And she was just a very nervous goat. And we spent a lot of time just doing this, letting her come to me, you know, give her her boundaries. And she's this amazing pettable goat at this point. Those little babies, they're exhibiting the same behaviors. They're very, very sketchy, even for baby goats. They're, they're just super twitchy, jumpy, run away. We'll talk about their names in a minute and the other baby's names. And <sighs> a huge sigh of relief for what's happening today on the farm. She's so confident, cocky almost. <laughs> We're just walking over to the barn. Look, I got a lot of clover in this yard and she stopped at every freaking patch. Come on, we gotta go. We don't have all day. Have a lot of yard before we get there, love. Confidence. Are we gonna run? One of the girls called out to her. <laughs> They're out in pasture there. She's maybe one of two goats in the whole barn I could walk on a leash, like a puppy. Look at you, queen. Queening it up. Confidence is just off the charts right now. <laughs> so all of her test results came back. She is negative for everything, except old age and joint issues. Who's your babies? Who's talking? Sprinkles? Come on. Let's go get them. Look at them. Everybody's coming out for your return, my love. Like the real queen, right? She'd be like, oh, come on. That's a sight to see. <laughs> Come on. You've kept them waiting long enough. <laughs> Come on, silly potato. Come on, baby. Oh, you got some new babies to meet, yeah. You got lots of new babies to meet. Y'all, my heart right now. Just the relief of knowing that she has nothing going on. She already had her breakfast on the other side of the farm. I didn't get the news until after I had already fed her and taken care of her. She's my first priority in the morning. Somebody poop it up. You know, you give them everything and they poop in your buckets. Well, man, that was lacking the lusters. <laughs> Doing some spring cleaning. What you guys don't see is all the shots that you are seeing is me following this goat around for 30 minutes or so with the camera. <laughs> Mom, I gotta mark everything. She's like, I'm back. You 
Better watch your P's and Q's, ma'am. She's looking good, feeling good. She will stomp you out. I actually have zero concern with anybody starting anything with her. She has such high standing and a track record of <laughs> Fafo. I think it's just going to be a matter of her walking around reclaiming all of her territory. Letting everybody know this fence is mine, this hay feeder is mine, this milk stand is mine. Some casual. Oh, she just snubbed Puddin. It's a little casual hello there, and she just turned around from her like. Don't talk to me. I feel a little tiny legs on me. Hi. Oh, come here. You have not met your queen because you were born while she was away. I know. Don't go meet her or no? No interest, no cares. Don't understand. Don't. <laughs> awesome, guys. It's going to be probably a couple hours of this situation here and she'll probably wander out in the pasture i'm surprised cookie well cookie cookie don't care she came back halfway and now she's going back out she's about to cross the bridge there she's like yeah whatever <laughs> she has pretty good friends with strews though okay well that's that Again, lacking all the lusters. I didn't figure it'd be super exciting. I figured it'd be what you saw Puddin' and Sprinkles doing, which is walking up and saying hello. Don't start anything. There won't be anything. We're good to go. All right, I got a lot to do. And then we'll let the babies out. This guy is such a loner. Baby Snickers. Calling him Big Red. Calling him Baby Snickers because he looks exactly like his papa. Don't have a name for her yet. Maybe just Baby Girl. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Brown Beauty. Or BB for short. And now for the rest of the story. It's a busy day, y'all. Nothing. Mama walked out. <laughs> Are we going to come out, Twitchy Babies? Come on, big man. Lead your sisters out. You don't realize how small they are until you see them in the wild. But they're in there with mom. They look normal size. To me, you know, they look like normal size Nige babies. And man, when they come out of that stall for the first time and they're you know, six to eight inches tall. Probably around six to eight pounds right now. Hi, beautiful. Oops, there comes the little deer. The official names as they stand right now are <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me get close. Decided that I was going to call her 47 Ronin. The little Ronin girl. Just a play on the samurai and her actual Ronin, which is just stunning. Hi. How are you? <gasps> what? <laughs> So I don't know, H and I kept bantering back and forth about what we call her because I just kept calling her Silver Girl and she's like, who's that? Is that Frosty Mom? Is that the baby? Is that, it was it was a whole conversation. And I was like, fine, whatever. She's Ronin, 47 Ronin. That just popped in my head. And then we're gonna call him Quicksilver. We can't call you, for, we can't call you Mr. <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't call her a super tough name, which is, Ronan or Roro and have you be Mr. Sparkles. 
<laughs> or do you just smile at me? <laughs> and then you, I don't know. Maybe it is a play on Quicksilver, Ronan, and Cream Puff. <laughs> I like that. Boop, 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 boop. We spent a, probably an hour in here last night just sitting, holding babies. Just our own little private time. No cameras, no anything. Just, she's still the sketchiest. This one is very interested. Very, very intrigued. Mr. Man, mommy picked him up and held him and he fell asleep. What? Look at you. Goodness, she's just, uh, y'all, I'm sorry. I just keep saying it 500 times. She's just stunning. She's absolutely gorgeous. Well, okay, okay. You look like a little deer. You look like a little deer, a little reindeer, or just a regular deer or something. She's so pretty and unique. I don't know what to call you still. I think we've kind of landed on the Claire. So dominant. Okay, baby. But I, what I want to show you is, if you look at her face markings, boom. Oh, did you get me? Did you get me? Oh, did you get me too? Are you support? <laughs> Baby Roro. Cream puff. If you look at her face markings and the back of her head, you'll see that pattern. And what you'll see a lot, <laughs> they might not come out of the stall. They like to hide under the ladder. If you look at a Claire, where's my most, oh, they're all out in the field. Why? Where's our Claire causing problems when you need one? Miss Struzzo has uh, taken up her spot, her normal place, right there on the hill, eyes closed, chewing her cut, looking queenly. What? You don't have to stop chewing. I just want to get a picture of you chewing. What are you doing? What are you on about? Don't be weird. Don't be weird. This is literally Cookie's place. Huh, look at you. Hi. I'm not moving you, chubby butt. I'm not going for a walk either, honey. She either lays here or she lays high up on the hill up there. But one of these two places. You're not a good example of a Kuklair because you have too much white on you. Where's my Twinkie pants? Now, Twinkie is the perfect example of a Kuklair. And if you take little cream puff's face and you look at it, a little bit of mix up there in the back of her head that a good Claire will have this beautiful triangle on the back of her head like that and I see a lot of that in cream puff's face so I'm, I'm really thinking that she is just a, a nice Claire, a unique Claire, without all the without all the black just being covered. Everything got covered with gold or something except for her head markings. If she hadn't had those face markings, I think we would have just said she's a gold goat. <laughs> but that would also mean that we'd have to figure out who's carrying gold. And the only option for that would be Frosty Mom. So Frosty Mom would have to be gold with silver modifier. Good. That's got a nice amount of flex to it. That's what I wanted. I don't want it to so firm that they really can push against the fence. I want it flexible enough so when they try to push against it, it doesn't support them enough and they don't try to lean on it. So they just kind of like step off of it. Hi! <laughs> also Claire, but she's got a lot of coverage as well. Pretty face. You can actually, if you look at her face and you look at her markings, when you see a little bit of cover-up, around the top of her head, you would see that she would have that, that heart-shaped face markings. Not you, you're just beautiful. 
<gasps> Don't touch me in the wild. Are we only friends in the barn? Oh, you want to fight? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> You're getting disbutted today. Don't do that. Then you'll you'll teach your goats to headbutt you. Nope. Never happened. Never happened. Not once have I ever had a goat be headbutty. Run away, you weenie. You come and you poked me in the side, and I was going to pet you, and then you run off. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh, I've done something. I'm going to die. That is all, guys. Bye. <laughs> okay. It's not all. It was going to be all, but now Queenie has decided to make her presence known. Can you just eat stuff and be cute? <laughs> I can't remember, guys, if she's been in the pasture yet. I might have opened this while she was up in quarantine. That's your queen right there. She moves, they move. No challenges, just hellos. Uh-huh. You guys see it, right? You see it? Queen's going this way. That's the way we're going. Perfect. Gonna start something you can't take back. Auntie Cookie's babysitting. They just go to her. She's just a calm, just I don't know, just a source of calm. Alright guys, this time, this time, this time, this time. This time I'll end the video. Frosty Mom went out to pasture. So I'm interested to see, oh, okay. Another reason why we give them their space, their stall, their bed, they know where they lay. Stay there, baby, it's okay. It's because, and I talked about it with, with I talked about it with Gummies Babies. So they know that's their corner. That's where they always do their little cuddle puddle. It's where they take their naps. <laughs> You're curious little thing. So when mom goes out in the pasture, they don't freak out. They just go lay in their little cuddle puddle and wait for mom to come back. Feel free to use your brother for a post. <laughs> mom, your boys. Good night. Giving old Chuck a run for his money. Yeah, the buckling instincts are strong with these two. Very strong. Hello, buddy. This one's a love, though. Hi. This one's a love. Yeah, Big Red? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's in love. He wants all the love, don't you, buddy? <laughs> oh, are you going to decide that you love me now, too? <laughs> huh? You didn't love me before, but I think you went and got something to eat. I would also like pets. <laughs>